hello everyone welcome back to tech genie in this video i will be sharing the powerful method to fix high cpu ram and the disk usage on your windows 10 and windows 11 so make sure that you apply all the solution because i have covered all the entire solution that really work so the video can be a bit lengthy do not skip any part apply all of them and i'm very sure that you will find the difference so let's quickly get started first what you will have to do click on your windows search type services then click on the services app the services box will be up now here you have to look for a service called sysmain so click anywhere then press the s key so that you can come to the s section and then you have to look for sysmain once you get it make a double click on it and here in the startup type it must be selected to manual or automatic from the drop down you have to choose disabled and the status if it's running then you have to click on stop then click on apply and then click on ok once you are done you can close it again click on windows search type power cfg.cpl again hit the enter key and here you will find all kind of your power plan and i assume that your power plan must be selected to balanced or power saver so what you will have to do click on show additional plan and choose this to high performance in case if you don't find the high performance over here then from the left hand menu option click on create a power plan and then from here you can choose the high performance once you have selected close it now click on your windows search type cmd right click on command prompt click run as administrator then click on yes the black window will be up here you have to type sfc space forward slash scan now hit the enter key and now this will be scanning for all kind of integrity violation and any kind of infected file so it may take some time so what we can do we can minimize it then click on your windows search type virus and from the suggestion click on virus and threat protection now here click on a scan option then click on full scan now this will take some time but it's recommended that you should go with a full scan once selected click on a scan now and again this will take some time so we can minimize it next make a right click on the windows icon click on task manager from the suggestion in the task manager from the left in menu option or from the top menu click on startup apps now you need to look for all the third party application and you have to disable them so that it should not start along with the computer so anything like third up so any third party application like any desk epic game launcher microsoft team microsoft to do microsoft edge onedrive uh, steam discord you will have to disable it okay these are the application that you can manually open whenever you want to so right click on it and choose disable rest any third party application if you find it just make a right click on it and disable it once you are done you can close it okay now next you have to click on your windows search again type sysdm.cpl hit the enter key now here from the top menu option click on advanced then under performance click on settings now this should be selected to let windows choose or adjust for best appearance now here you have to select the third option that says adjust for best performance once selected we have to enable few of the required animation and graphic so the first one will be animate windows when minimizing and maximizing the next one will be show thumbnail instead of icons and the last one will be smooth edges of a screen font now click on apply then click on ok and click ok again all right and now we have to go with some advanced options with the registry hack so for that click on your windows search type registry and from the suggestion click on registry editor click on yes the registry editor will be up here from the left hand menu option expand the option of hq local machine by making a double click on it then you have to go to system double click on it then go to current control set double click on it then double click on control 
and in the control you have to look for session manager so keep scrolling down until you find session manager once you get it again make a double click on it to expand it and in the session manager you have to look for memory management click on it and once you click on it on the right hand side you will find clear page file at shutdown double click on it and change its value data from 0 to 1 then click on ok now once you are done again go to the system what you can do from the top you can delete everything after system and this will take you directly to the system so once you come to the system you have to look for control set 001 double click on it then make a double click on services and in the services you have to look for a key by the name ndu so keep scrolling down to the end section and somewhere you will find ndu folder or key and once you get it click on it then on the right hand side you will find the start value make a double click on it and change the value data from 2 to 4 then click on ok and now we are remaining with the most powerful method where we will be disabling the game dvr presence writer okay so for that what you will have to do minimize the registry editor and then you have to come to this website of disable game bar presence writer where i have uploaded the file you need to download this so hover up on download then click on standard download the downloading will be started and once completed open the downloaded folder it will be downloaded in a zip file so right click on it extract the file once extracted open the folder of disable game war and here you will find two different registration entries so make a double click on the first one click on run click on yes click on yes then click on ok do the same with the second one click on run yes yes and ok once you have done close everything again bring up the registry editor and here again from the left hand menu option double click on hk local machine then go to software double click on it and in the software you have to look for microsoft double click on it and in the microsoft you have to look for windows runtime so keep scrolling down until you find windows runtime once you get it double click on it again and here you will find a folder by the name activatable class id double click on it now in the activatable class id we have to look for an entry that is start with windows.gaming.gamebar okay so we can scroll down to the w section then we have to look for windows.gaming so again scroll down and here it is windows.gaming.gamebar.presence server this should be on the very top in the windows.gaming section now once you get it click on it then on the right hand side you will find a key by the name activation type make a double click on it and here we have to change the value data from 1 to 0 but right now we don't have the permission so if i type 0 and click on ok we will be getting this kind of error message so in order to get the permission what you will have to do click on ok right click on this windows.gaming.gamebar folder click on permissions then click on advanced and here we have to change the owner so click on change and here you have to type your administrator user account so in order to find it click on the windows icon then click on user account name then click on change account settings and this will display your user account name so whatever it is just copy or just make a note of it go back to this window and type the same user account name or the email address if you're using the microsoft account once you have entered the name click on check name and this will be automatically highlighted and underlined that indicate that you have entered the right name so once it's been done you have to click on ok again click on add click on select a principal again type the same name then click on check names click on ok now in the basic permission click on the full control click on ok and now you can see here that crown geek that is my user account name have the full control option 
okay so we are all done click on apply click on okay and then click on okay so now once we have the permission if this time if i make a double click on activation type and change the value data to zero and click on okay so you will find that it's been changed okay so once it's been done you are all set now go ahead and restart your computer and you will find that the high cpu ram and the disk usage problem has been fixed on your computer so that's all guys for today hopefully you will find this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye